Welcome back to Phantom Liberty and to uh, something that I have been waiting for for quite a while. <laughs> I've been hoping that this day might come ever since finishing off a certain little um, sub-series for the main playthrough. Hold on, we've got a message from Malone here. Uh, what have we got? He's giving us a gig. Okay, objective. Talk to Ronald Malone, the Pacifica Typhoon. Longshore stacks near the Tree of the Lost. Details. Sup, boss? Wanted to let you know I moved my biz closer to my container casa. <laughs> Come on over and visit me, Joom. I got some prime stuff and info for you. Ooh. Ha! Huh. Well, perhaps I hear Dogtown calling. Down to Longshore stacks. Let's go and see what Ron's got for us. So he says he's moved his entire operation down here now. He must not be operating uh, round by that little sort of covered shopping area anymore, I guess. Right, well, I'm not going to get much further in the uh, in the carol here. Right, uh, well, let's send you on your way. Away you go, my clean beastie. I'm sure it'll see itself out of trouble somewhere. Okay. Let's pop on through to the market. Oh, I wanted to visit the moth as well, didn't I? Well, this is a perfect opportunity. First of all, oh, there he is. Right, looks like he's marked up ready for us. Let's go and have a little whisper in his ear. There's prices in dog <laughs> There he is. Certified resale. Uh, Ron. Hi. Uh, been a while. I'll be damned. A real live custom. <laughs> what can I get you? <laughs> Good to see you too, Ron. Uh, right. So, uh, I understand you've got something lined up for me. Got some questions about D-Town, actually. Sure thing. Toss him up. Uh, ooh, hello. Yeah, that's the point. We haven't had a chance to actually ask about the tree yet, have we, I don't think? Been wanting to ask, Ronnie. What's up with all the pics on that tree? That's what you call tradition, Chum. See any badges around here? Mm-hmm. So, your Chum's go missing, yeah? What you gonna do? Call Hanson? Well, not nah, anymore, no. Let's go on your own hunt. So you don't call no bar guest dogs when someone near and dear go missing. You pin a pick to that tree. Attach you's deets, sit tight, and pray for contact. Peeps ever find their chooms? Well, sometimes. Maybe. Not really. Not about that. It's about hope. You feel me? Hang a pick and you feel like you done something. Better than sitting on your ass, yeah? Mm, yeah, I do kind of get the impression that... Uh... Aha! Uh -huh. Get the impression it's more of a monument than it is actually a tool for finding your uh, your lost loved ones. Man. Kind of drives home the fact as well that, like I said before, that people have to hit such rock bottom levels to choose this place as a valid alternative to whatever life they had in NC. Okay, uh, you'll be able to find me here from now on. My days of having to hoof it to the captains is done. Uh, or the capitans. Looking in, uh, looking in on looking to be more than a junk dealer, trying to be an info bro, so you quit pro quo, quo with me and I'd be sure to save my best for you. Nice. Oh, thanks, Typhoon. I think this is going to be the uh, the beginning of a, a nice little business relationship. So, if you haven't figured it out already, I mean, the thumbnail and the title probably gave it away. This is a brand new mod from Dark Cops that I have been waiting for for such a long time. Okay, we've got a new one from Typhoon. Information gathering. Objective, learn about Bargus supply chain. Location, Longshore Stacks, building west of Press Street. Yo, V, those Bargus dogs have been barking in my backyard. You know what I'm saying? Fucking strange, though. Seems like they're bringing in a ton of Cytex shit with no airdrops in sight. Weird, right? Check your journal shards. Okay, so, yeah, this is Pacifica Typhoon Dogtown's Hidden Gems, the follow-up to fixes hidden gems which uh, i played through on the main series so if you've been following along for a long time you'll know all about this but if you knew typhoon's going to be giving us a string of hidden gems to go and investigate around dogtown to um sort of help locate those little hidden untold stories that aren't on the map that are just there to sort of sprinkle in a little bit of flavor and i've been looking forward to this for so long man so this one is covering something that I've already located in Dogtown, so we can actually find out what it is by looking up the shard. Archive conversation, Walter Anthony and Forrest Amato. 
so hold on. Seems like they're bringing in a telecytic shit with no airdrops in sight. I wonder if this is related to the back door access tunnel that I uh, I found a little ways back. So let's delve into the shards list. So uh, the the mod very handily also orders shards by alphabetical order as well, which is rather handy. Um, though we do have. Oh, hello, this is one that I haven't read. This isn't anything to do with the mod. This is one that I've just completely missed out. Uh, Captain, we're detecting enemy forces near our airdrop. Fucking relax, this isn't the fucking army. Name's Tom. Oh, hold on, I have read this one, haven't I? Question the homeless enemy, figure out how he got the code and drop cores. No, I have read that one. That's strange. I wonder why that showed up. But anyway, we're looking for one in this block of archive conversations. And it's going to be right near the bottom because it begins with a double O. Let's take a look. So, archive conversation... Uh, mm, 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 mm. Let's see, who was it? Walter Anthony and Forrest Amato took a look inside. And warranty seals already broken. Militech security features down too, so we'll, uh, the wear will work even with our Osaka Soft. Seems to me we're fucking good to go. The best of the bunch will go directly to Hansen. And he left over Chrome to the stadium. Exactly. Ooh, was this? Was this the tunnel? Something's telling me that was in the Biotechnica Spa. I think. Hmm. Let's see if Typhoon gives us any clues. They got to get a, uh, they they got to got a hidden way into D town, but shit, Tume, it's not like my house is going to be sprinting over to look though. But a badass merc of NC might. <laughs> Don't you worry, already got that covered. This is going to be interesting actually to see if he can uh, sort of keep up to date with um with what's actually going on around here through his uh, his little messages for these hidden gems because his regular text messages are about sort of a week behind current affairs let's see missing persons okay so we don't have a hint on this one this is one that i haven't located yet awesome find um le, le killer for you <laughs> okay long shore stacks near the paradise hotel le killer for you is this french cat from France, <laughs> funnily enough. Oh, okay. okay, sorry, I mispronounced it. Le killer for you. <laughs> oh, God. Did I do that? Real handy and always willing to help out a feel fellow D-Towner, but she may pick it up the hollow. I was hoping you'd go see if you could find them. They were working a gig near the Paradise Hotel. Okay, so, let's see if I can find this le killer for you. Uh, aha, right. Okay, interesting. Looks like... We're getting the icons actually pinpointing uh, where the next objective is, but there's no actual routing on the minimap. Hmm. NCPD reinforcements. Things are moving. Okay, uh, so whilst I'm here, I realized I haven't... That's not very nice. I haven't actually revisited the moth since Alex disappeared, so I wonder if anything's actually actually changed around here uh place still seems to be pretty pretty busy which is a good sign uh the robot's still manning the bar i did try once i've been um uh estranged from the fia shall we say i did try and get through that door and whoa hello i don't like the sound what's Wait, what's going on in here I don't think I want to know. Um, let's give it another try. Scanner being red when we arrived is probably not a great sign. Yeah, that, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything new in here? I wonder to myself. General nonsense. Oh, there was a thing on the sofa, but can't confirm there is not a thing on the sofa. Ooh, we have got new what one new message. Robo upgrade from quote unquote Daphne to Phoenix. Hey, remember that bartending robot you helped me with? What a true help that was. Friend, she's been an absolute dream for seven years already. My customers love her. I'm writing because I'm gonna be away from Dogtown for a while on Biz and Margarita. Don't laugh, that's her name, and I'm sticking to it. Could do with some upgraded stuff uh, soft and drink recipes. She'll be taking over some of my responsibilities while I'm gone. Think you can swing it? By tomorrow, maybe? I could, if you're willing to burn the eddies. Real talk? I like you, and I don't want to rip you off. You're better off replacing um, Margarita with a fresher model. Seeing the ones they got in the Sapphire? Or, you know, just hire some Ganic help? 
think you probably already guessed, but I've grown attached to her, and I ain't the only one. Eddie's won't be a problem. As for all the little odd jobs around the bar, yeah, I'll have to hire a bar back. Just don't want them to be the one mixing the drinks. You know how folk are. One pour in the shaker, one down the hatch. And even if they aren't serving, hopefully they can still be a good shoulder to, um, to cry on. Um, I doubt you got any soft little teach margarita gift to the gab, God bless her. Oh, that's cute! Alex's little sign off. And leaving her uh, her margarita behind to watch the place. Well, take care, margarita. I'm out. Oh, hello. And see you now hiring bar back at the moth. Oh, so Alex left this shard behind on the way out the door? Looks like. Bar back at the moth. Due to a vacancy in the role of head human bartender, the moth is looking for a fresh face to help out the robo bartender behind the bar. The moth is looking for someone with a strong head, a hard ass, and a mess of opinions. <laughs> Your responsibilities will include treating polite guests with good conversation, treating rude guests to the exit, stocking supplies, helping the robo bartender, jukebox maintenance, and coin collection. The moth offers regular pay for irregular hours, but hey, at least all the tips will land in your pocket, the perk of working with a robot. Apply now to become part of the iconic watering hole that put Longshore stacks on the map. Sound like a good fit? Write up a good word for yourself and send it to daphne at themoth.dgt. Dogtown's got its own subdomain? Love that. Right, hold on. She mentioned something about the uh, the tube box, didn't she? No, oh, I thought that might have been a little hinty poo, but never mind. Anyway, back to uh, the matter at hand. Let's not sour this new working relationship with Ronald P. T. Malone by dragging our ass round. So, we need to find this, uh, what was his name now? Lickilial for you? That was the one, wasn't it? On top of the Paradise Hotel. Is this, <laughs> is this the Paradise Hotel? A slice of paradise it most certainly is. Look at this. Need you want for more. That looks slightly dangerous. Um... <laughs> Something funny about me vaulting a... Oh, hello. Vaulting a set of stacks like this? Uh, right. Much maintenance going on by the looks of it. So our objective is this terminal. What have we got here? Got... Gym Beasts? What's Gym Beasts? Sounds like an album made by the animals. I'm not sure I want to hear that. Heavily scratched, but not by a record player needle. Uh, I don't know why I felt compelled to pick it up, but I did. Anyway... Okay, apparently I'm collecting spray paint as well. Let's have a little look. Three messages. Fire in the stacks, your inheritance, urgent reply need, wake up at the... Right, these last two feel like spam. Yep. Fire in the stacks. From Elijah Olson to Major Tom Smith. Hold on, Major Tom again? Wait, is that the same... Is that the same Major Tom... That I just picked... I just read that old shard of? Okay. Yo, that handyman tune, Le Killer for you, got flatlined, burnt to a crisp. Guy was a jack of all trades, and now he's a pile of ash. Oh. Oh. Um, Ron, got some bad news for you. Do we know what happened exactly? How the fire started? Tell you this, as a techie, Tune didn't know shit. Clearly, uh, Guy was clearly a rhizomatic tinkerer, wanted everything connected to everything else. Hooked up one circuit to five others, tapped Tune straight into the grid. Is he the one that made that big scorch mark on the side of uh, this stack? Honestly, made such a dumb fucking mess. I'm surprised it didn't all blow up earlier. Beeps say he helped them when Bargus wouldn't, but I say, damn, everything in moderation. Even help. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're not going to like this, Typhoon. Let's see what he's got to say. Where is the Pacific? The, the paradise? I'm confused. Anyway. Oh, shit. Damn, they were a good cat to chat with. Yo, come on by sometime. Old Ronnie has restocked and I'll cut you a deal. <laughs> Love that. Never pass up the opportunity for an upsell. Ooh, hold on. I just realised the angle that I'm at. I think... I think that might have been the um, the Brazilian uh, spy researcher's um, little <laughs> container. Let's see. What have we got? Information gathering. Find Guillaume Beauvais's rooftop garden. Longshore stacks above the Ripper Dock. Okay. Hey, man. If you want to take the edge off without completely dulling your blade, you need to peep by my tomb's rooftop garden above Dock Costins. Um, 
Geez, Amer uh, Jamaican, so you know that's the good shit. Um, what are you directing me toward here, Typhoon? Uh, right, toward the Ripper Dock. Ripper Dock was just around the corner from the Moth, I think, so... God damn, every single time! <laughs> I keep hitting the button to do the, the side dash and break my fall and it never works. Oh, hello. Got a little fist fight going on here. Mm, it seems a bit tame. I think they're just sparring. Oh, there we go. There's our objective. Says he already replaced me. Nah, you hated it anyway. Give me, give me, come through. That's why every now and again I get Right, yeah, way above the dock by the looks of things. Here. <laughs> Don't worry, Typhoon, I'm getting you your uh, your next objective. I think I actually hopped up here, but not up here before. Oh. The Lena Molina Show. New episodes every Friday. Right, what have we got here? I mean, it's... Oh, this is... Yeah, this is quite the plant collection. Okay. What exactly is it they're growing? I'm kind of confused. Uh, got another one of those vinyl records. What have we got down here? Tier 1 components. Mm, go on then. Right. Good green fun. All right, ladies and gents, herbalist and herbivores, if you're looking to get scares without sizzling your neurons or pounding your fucking pitu uh, pituitary till your hormones go haywire, it's time to such touch some grass tunes. None of that fant or deep dive, just the gifts of Mother Nature herself. Fant. Fant. Wasn't fant the drug that was being pushed by the Dogtown scavs that that woman in the side wing of the... Um, Oh, what was it called? I forgot now. But the um, the the big greenhouse area up in the uh, Terra Cognita area wasn't she developing some sort of antidote to it? Was that Fant? Anyway, sorry, off on a complete tangent. <laughs> Unlike me, I know. Just the gifts of Mother Nature herself. We managed to biohack the best of shrooms and weed combined. Our puffable sci sci. Hold on, Silas Silas Cybin. We'll give you a nice smooth high and let you sneak a little peek at your true enlightened self. Peace, love, understanding, and an ever-expanding mind, tune butters. Why wreck yourself when you can find yourself, right? Well, I think all of our, um... All of our Biku buddy, um... Ooh, hello, there's an upper level above the moth. Interesting. All of our Biku senseis have cleared off and left us alone, so if, uh, if this is the only way to get out of body enlightenment, then, hmm... Guy, uh, gay shit is the only thing making these motherfucking migraines bearable. Oh. Typhoon suffers from migraines. Right, let's see if I can actually do this without breaking my knees this time. No! Again! Bloody dash didn't work. <laughs> I'm pressing the button! I swear I am! I don't mean to be... Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just killed somebody by landing on their head. Wow. Um, okay, missing person. Ooh, hello. Got a missing person job. Find John King. Longshore stacks by the Burger Burger. Hey, Tume. My... Do old Ronnie a solid and look in on a tumor of mine. Tume's an ex-corpo with mad knowledge, but had his skull sponge scrambled when Zeta cut his feed. Oh. Well, this can't end well, surely. Oh, no. I just realized I've got a star. I've got a star from Bargus. And they're around somewhere. They're over there. I think I'm good for... N oh, no, hold on. There's scabs. Oh. Vargas Goon walking this way. Um, so, yeah, sorry. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna hide out behind here for now. Okay, I think I'm all right. <laughs> I think I'm in the clear. <laughs> I managed to dodge that one. Don't tell anyone what happened, Ron. Okay, so, Ron's tomb is where? Up here? No, I feel like I'm on the wrong side of this stack. Am I? Or... Oh, oh. Oh, oh no, I don't like the look of this. Um... Sorry, Ronald, what was your, uh, what was your buddy into again? <gasps> Hi there. Oh god, I... Oh, I took another one out there. Hi. Um, looking for... 
Do you know what? Never mind. We've got a. Ooh, hello. Katana. Mm, it's not all that great. This is looking very sort of occult, and I'm not entirely sure I approve. Archive conversation John King and. Wait. Gary? <laughs> As in that Gary? Follow the money and you'll find the source. That's the truth, the only truth. You've shut your eyes in fear, and what you fear is that reality is beyond your reach. You can't reduce the truth of the system to money. The titans of entertainment in Alpha Centauri would love that. <laughs> it is, it's Gary the Prophet. Well, you should reject what is clear and easy in your vision of the world. Gary, uh, sorry, but <laughs> is that bullshit? The truth always hides in plain sight, and there's nothing in plainer sight than the stadium. That's where the real battle for our souls is fought, right under the city's nose. Tacitly approved by the real decision makers. Devils lie with demons there, using cybernetic witches. John! Now you're talking bullshit. <laughs> oh no, two unhinged individuals going at each other. Um, devils lie with demons there using cybernetic witches. What? <laughs> where, where do we even begin to unpick that? <laughs> oh, I'm so pleased there's a little flavor of uh, Gary the Prophet here in Dogtown. That's made me very happy. Phew, last I saw him, he was freaking over a missing tomb of his. Uh, thinking he was next. Oh, no! John was sketching out when Gary the Prophet went missing. <gasps> Hint, this next year may require you to have a body score of 20 to open it. Oh. You can go into mod settings to turn on skill check bypass option. Yeah, I'm, um... <laughs> I think I'm a little short for that one. <laughs> I might have to turn on uh, turn on a little cheat for that next one. But, oh well, whatever's necessary. We're doing a little whistle stop tour of Dogtown to find all these little hidden goodies. I'm not going to let something like 16 levels too low for a body check stand in my way. Hidden stash. Find the Guillotine X Mod 2. Longshore stacks container near Crest Street. Yo V, one of the little pups that found me, uh, found me my stock saw... Hold on, found him his stock? <laughs> did, did he get a street urchin to scrounge his stock? Uh, anyway, saw a, a skeezy scav cooking in one of the high-rises here in the stacks. Of more import to you, maybe the tricked-out SMG they left. Shit, a slick tune may even be able to break a window just to snatch it. Huh, okay. So this is over near Elizabeth Crest Street. So that's near the hideout, I think. Um, hey, not right seeing... <laughs> Not seeing an objective marker around here. So let's move back towards the apartment. Um, <laughs> are we calling it an apartment now? I suppose we can get away with that, can't we? Oh, oh but temptation. <laughs> oh, but temptation. Yeah, I suppose we could stop off uh, on the way, couldn't we? Very tempted to go and grab that car as well. Is that a, uh, is that Hella? Yeah, Hella ECD, bloody hell. I haven't driven one of those since the early days. I suppose stopping off for, uh... Wait, hold on, this is a... Oh, this is a different one to normal. Normally they land on the back of that huge dumper truck, don't they? Is this the Voodoos? Ooh, okay. Interesting. I wonder... Is there any way... What? No, okay, never mind. <laughs> that was me wondering if I could uh, potentially take them by surprise. No such luck. Hello! Ooh, you're a sniper, aren't you? Oh, I just got me. Scum. Uh, that's interesting. You actually fell over before the grenade went off. Whoa, hello. Oh, of course. I was just about to be hacked then. No, I hear someone throwing a grenade. Oh, we got another sniper in our midst. Hello, you're a heavy though. Right, let's maybe get... Can we get a... Uh... Let's go for a cyberware malfunction. I was looking for cyberpsychosis. Whoa. No. Hmm. I would love to get some of that heavy artillery on my side, if you don't mind. There we go. Let's get a bit of cyberpsychosis on you. You are trying to hack me, which I'm not entirely... Uh, sure I approve of, so let's go for detonate grenade. 
And now I'm really low on health, which is not a good plan. Let's hide out for just a moment whilst we wait for this, uh, this heavy gunner to do our bidding. Ooh, I see you down there. How about you have a little dose of contagion and overheat? Surprise! Sessions! Hold them, goddammit! Surprise! Heavy artillery! Whoa! You nearly took me out, swine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go over the uh, weapons, ammo, and ammo very quickly. Uh, oh, did not want that. And then head on over. You know what? Actually, let's take on our quarry first. What have we got here? Another nice easy hack. E nine five five BD five five. E nine five five BD five five. Beautiful. And that grants us cripple movement, a few weapons, warden carry capacity shard, and some components. Lovely stuff. Never turn down a carry capacity shard. Never turn down uh, whatever's in your wallet as well. Okay, uh, let's just target the nice high-level loot that's uh, cluttering up our mini-map. And then get ourselves over to... Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, dear, oh, dear. You're half the man you used to be. And you. Hmm. Where am I headed? Up here somewhere, I think, wasn't it? Let's see, where's the objective marker gone? Where? Oh. Wait. Did I? <laughs> I ran straight past the bloody hidden gem to get to this, this goodie box. Oh, well, worth it, I guess. Ooh, hold on, I want to go that way, don't I? Whoa! I just realised what these are. These are tank traps. Must have been left over from the uh, the unification days. Oh, right. Now, uh, oh no, we're heading up here. Cool. Distracted by the uh, car symbol. Are you okay there? Do you require assistance? Right, is this up on the roof here? Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Uh, I think. Am I getting from the top? No, doesn't seem to be. The side? Hmm. <laughs> Here's the challenge. How do we actually get in? Can't get in there. Intriguing. How do I gain entrance to uh, this little location? I can see in through the window, so we can definitely get in there. Oh, there's a bloody door here. I walked straight past it. Oh, man. Okay, so I just had to dip into the menus to use that little uh, that little cheaty. And now all of a sudden... God, I feel mighty, mighty strong. Right, right, let's... Uh, oh, I can't actually shut that behind me. What have we got here? Oh, wow. Got a proper little chem lab going on. Blimey. Tier 1 components. Nice weapon. That's our guillotine that we're after. Let's check the uh, messages first. Messages 2. Fant and deep dive. From Mikhail Tabakov to Vitaly Kuznetsov, I think. Info for everyone so it's clear for you and the client. We've got basically the same drug but two different strengths. Deep dive's your first little leap into the deep end. Fant's the fucking abyss. Well, we've sampled deep dive, haven't we? When we were speaking to uh, Paco and Babs. And if, if, if that could basically transport us inside somebody else's memories, so to speak, I hate to think what Fant can actually do. Deep dive, how it works. It hits you like you were reliving a BD, but in real time. You imagine something and actually live through it like a lucid daydream you can control. No need to wait for someone else to scroll it. You can experience whatever you want. Someone tells you a story and you're in it, man. It's a preen trip, but you've got to be careful. If your tune tells you a shit story, it could really bring you down hard. Seriously. Get a tune to tell you something nice so you get to relive all the colours, emotions, smells, all that shit. Fant, how it works. Now we're bringing out the elephant guns, huh? Deep dives are poly one shot compared to the Fant. If we're counting, dives only about 20 to 25% the strength of Fant, depending on purus, purity, obviously. So when 
Deep Dive lets you relive someone else's experiences like they were your own. Fant just punches you in the face, grabs you by the metaphorical balls, and tears you away to an astral plane of pure ecstasy. We're talking life pre uh, life pre Fant and post Fant. That's it. Once you get a taste, it's all you can think about. Pre Fant's just a sad grey thing of the past tunes. I mean it, if you haven't tried Fant, then you've got no idea the heights of happiness you could reach. That's pretty much it. Sincerely, your professor of psychedelic sciences, meaning me, Mikhail. <laughs> And junk mail. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. Now we've got a bearing on what Fant actually is. Right. This is guillotine. Weird looking thing, isn't it? Really sort of bulbous and, and sort of curvy. Almost like it's organic. Guillotine X Mod 2. Special version of the weapon capable of additional modification. Oh. Optimized design also allows for improved handling. Cool. Nice. We will take that. Thank you very much. And a dose of monkey monkey while we're here. All right, Ron. What are you sending me next? Whoa, those slimy ass scabs been pushing that fan around my D town, and it fucking peeps up. I thought glitter was bad, but this new shit's off the chain. I'm gonna attempt fate again. Actually, am I gonna attempt fate? I'm I'm a bit higher up this time. Oh, I'm scared. Please work this time. Yay! I actually pulled it off. Okay, information gathering. Find the Stations of the Lost. I'm sorry, what? Find the Stations of the Lost. Longshore Stacks behind Longshore Stacks data term. Where's the data term? Since you seem to be hanging around DT for a... Oh, I've already got this one. It's hanging around Dogtown for a bit. You need to find Rubelek, baby. And not that cornstarch concoction. Rubelek's party crawls at... Oh, crawls are legendary. Oh, yes, 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 I remember this. This was where we, we found a shard down uh, one of the alleys off at the main marketplace, just off of the, um, what's it called? The Tree of the tree of Life? Um, that was talking about the legendary parties that go on in in, uh, in NC in Dogtown. Okay. Um, oh, bless. Rubelek's party crawls are legendary, like YouTube. Oh, Archive Conversation, Rubelek, and all subscribers. Take a little looky. Okay? <clears throat> right down here at the bottom again uh rubelek and all subscribers yeah so i'm not going to go through it again but yeah this oh yeah the party crawl first station nova beats and preem sweets by the basketball basketball court just a hop skip and a jump you're by the scav party in organitopia that was the that was the uh the actual place wasn't it i wonder if ron's gonna actually send us that way to find that um or would have sent us that way to find that lady eventually. Third station, big metal sphere, fourth final. There's a tiny little spot in a container in the stacks. Go ahead, crawl in, re-enter the womb, dance around, or lie down on the ground and pulse along with musical contractions. <laughs> Very cool. Right, so that should get us a message back from Ron. Here we go. Remember, this is D-Town. You may need to fight for your right to party. <laughs> I'm glad he's a fan of the classics. Okay, where next? Am I staying near Longshore? Got a feeling we should probably be moving out into, uh, into other nearby regions soon enough. Where are you sending me, Ron? Here we go. Gig type information gathering. Check out Corp Bud vans. Ooh, Corp Bud. They, they were the contractors that were doing up the um, the space terminal. I haven't noticed any vans around Dogtown, though, I don't think. Oh, we're going to the Dogtown gate. You know, trudging up to the cap uh, Capitans, I scoped some Corpo vans swarming with Bargast. Maybe the heat's not off now and you and uh, you and you can get Ronnie some deets. Can't English today. Oh, I found this one already as well. Oh, yes. This is the one that's in the middle of the road. There's like three or four. Oh, it makes sense. Three or four vans that were ablaze in the middle of the road heading back down to the gate, and it turned out it was NUS analysts being ordered to escape from Dogtown because um, it, it was around the time that Space Force One came down, and they were suddenly in an awful lot of trouble. Um, yeah, and they, they, they were so close, but never actually made it out of the gate. So they were hiding out in, uh, in court bud vans. Interesting. Here we go. NUS analyst 3458 and restricted. What? How? 
It was shot down over Dogtown. Jesus, should we secure the wreckage? Is the president still alive? You're not combat trained. You have different orders. You're to destroy any sensitive data and leave Dogtown along with the other security anal uh, analysts on assignment at the stadium or Heavy Hearts. Don't we have to deal with Bargast? We don't have shit now. We... Oh, don't we have that deal with Bargast? We don't have shit now. We suspect Hansen and his forces would attempt to seize you and your fellow agents to locate Myers. But we don't know where she is. And they don't know you don't know. Okay, we're moving. Your top priority is to destroy any sensitive NUS and Militech data. Roger that. Data destroyed. Group is attempting to evacuate Dogtown. Provide updates on your progress. Roger that. Got a bike, a sniper. Oh, scanning our car. Can you get away? I don't know. I'm deleting this contact. The risk is too great. You'll be on your own without support. Roger that. And they never made it out alive. Oh, humanity. Oh well, they knew the risks. <laughs> As one former NUS agent to uh, to another, you knew what you were signing up for. Oh shit! A fucking N fucking USA agents. I wonder if Hanson's boys really took it down. Well, <laughs> funnily enough, we uh, we kind of already know the answer to that one. Okay, what's next? In more information gathering. Find the sniper's nest. <gasps> There's a sniper's nest? The statue on the Pride of Eden Casino. So this is heading straight back towards near the entrance. Yo, 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 guess what? Ronnie may knew what, know where that sniper nest is that hit those NUSA gongs. Check it. Oh. Oh, the one that actually took out the, the NUSA agents in the van? Oh, that building and that statue. No way. Of course, that would give him a clear shot down. Whoa, what's happened? What's going on? Everyone okay? <laughs> okay, you do you. Uh, so, question is, how the hell to get up there? Uh, ooh. Ah, I know. We can go up to the, uh, the pools up there. Where the supply drops keep on dropping. And then uh, just cross the footbridge. Let's take the tradesman's entrance as normal. <laughs> okay, still haven't perfected. Hello. Um, hi. <laughs> I, I've got, I've unfortunately got a boost jump charge. So, um, sorry, excuse me. One moment. Right, I'm back with you. Hello. Les. I've never seen that sort of robot before, I don't think. Wait, are they... Are they meditating? I'm so confused. <laughs> Hello? They're meditating. Sorry, I don't mean to stare, but I'm awfully baffled. Robot? Robot? I was hoping to get some model information off of them. I've never seen one like that before. It's a really cool bot. I mean, even more so that they're meditating. Hello? Uh, right. Pleasure. Um, <laughs> kind of caught me off guard, I've got to be honest. Right, anyway. Whoa! Crap. Okay. We've, uh, we've actually made it now. To <laughs> where I was trying to get to in the first place. Here we go. So this is... Whoa! Oh, great. They cannot buy or sell. My name is a legion. <laughs> for there are many of us. I've met someone like you before. He's slightly more metallic, though. Um, uh, can I, I can help you? Him. Uh. Hi. Are you actually going to start something? I don't want to have to put you down if I don't need to. Found a way out of the net. There's no time. Tell everyone. Oh, trust me, that's old news. I know all about that. I can feel him. Okay. You don't look like you're possessed by a rogue AI. You look like you're just slightly Demons. wacko. Found a way out of the net. Okay, great. There's no time. I'll leave Tell you to everyone. it. Oh. <laughs> I thought she was the objective. You're starting to annoy me, but I don't want to have to put you down and uh, unless I really have to. Demons. Oh. Found a way out of the net. There's no time. Tell everyone! What have we got here? Skill shard for headhunter? Nice. I can feel him. 
Bits and pieces and bits and bobs. Om nom nom. Right, cool. What else? Oh. How long was... How long was this sniper up here? For there are many of us. And I've got to be honest, it did well to actually get a good view of the, uh, the vans. There's the vans in question that were taken out. The court bud vans. Urgent. My new orders. Be quiet, Legion. Reading. Space Force One has just crash landed in Dogtown with the NUS president on board. All snipers are to observe their respective areas and report any suspicious activity. Report any information on the movement of NUS forces and re related targets immediately. We cannot allow targets holding sensitive data to leave the Dogtown area. So I wonder how they actually caught on that those people in that van were NUS agents. Uh, right then, Legion. Been uh, been lovely chatting with you. There's no time. Tell everyone. Crap! It happened again. <laughs> Damn. With how this place was on lockdown, I don't see how Madame Press made it out of D-Town. Oh, don't you worry about that, Ronald. She's been taken care of. What? 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 What's the matter? Oh God! What did I do to you? Oh, for the love of Great. <sighs> Hopefully she's let off now. I don't know what I did to annoy her. And the problem is that whilst I'm wanted by Bargus, I can't receive any more text messages. I, wait, what? I'm a bit confused as to what actually happened. I don't have a star rating, so I don't know why they were that bothered about me. Right, anyway, here's Typhoon. More information gathering. Find information on Space Force One, Luxor Heights, Eventide Resort, and Spa. We're going back to the Oreo Tower. You know, most of the nomads that find their way to d end up near the wall over at Luxor Heights. Tough bunch of tombs to be camping that close to the VDB's backyard, but I guess it feels like home. But one of them tombs is a tomb of mine, hollowed me about some scavs in the Eventide, blabbing about finding parts of Space Force One. If you find your way up there, take a look for old Ronnie. So hold on. Most of the nomads that find their way to D-Town end up near the wall over at Luxor Heights. That's right, just behind Oreo Tower, I think is that perimeter wall to, sort of down in the ditch. Tough bunch of tombs to be camping that close to the VDB's backyard, but I guess it feels like home. Interesting. Uh, so one of one of them is a tomb of mine, hollowed me about scavs on the eventide, blabbing about finding parts of SF1. Okay. Uh, there we go. <laughs> I somehow managed to lose it for a moment then. Because it's uh, it's quite discreet, that tower. Easy to misplace it. Oh, hello. Uh, just passing through where we first met a certain FIA agent. And uh, there's a shard here. What's this? New business trends in sports. We are left with the following question. Is the essence of sports changing? Yes, it's still about breaking records and searching for the limits of human ability, although we've already pushed these limits hard with the aid of technology. Yeah, don't we know it? However, you, we can still uh, can we still call sport a competition? Here, we especially need to consider an increasingly popular trend, building athletes from childhood. Oh, man, this hits home, doesn't it? And that's uh, that academy that we found underground. Of course, there's long been a technological race in sports in this aspect aspect is, is it is an industry like any other there is also a long tradition of huge investments in both teams and individual athletes as well as in events and tournaments however it's one thing to pack chrome into the young yet already grown people based on their talents um oh pack chrome into the young yet already grown people based on their talents developed in a particular direction and another to burden the bodies of children as young as nine with multiple implants in such extreme cases i guess it's hard to even call it a competition anymore other than uh, that between technology companies bet uh, fighting amongst themselves for the most optimal test yard. Young people seem to be treated more like implant carriers destined for a specific sport rather than talents whose performance can be tuned, turned up a notch with these implants. Burdened by these thoughts, I can't get two very important questions out of my head. Is there still a place for competition and excitement in sports? And what do genuine enthusiasts get out of sports these days? That's actually a very interesting take on it. Next match versus no gun? Okay. Uh, that's actually a really valid question. What what sort of entertainment, what enjoyment do people get out of watching a... Oh, God, what's happened here? Uh, hello. Don't like the, um, the cut of your jib, I'm afraid. 
I think we're going to go with a, a little dose of... Oh, is suicide a bit much? It's a bit rude, isn't it? Let's go with a synapse burnout on you. Oh, I've got a funny feeling you're going to end up taking that person out first, though. Hmm, thought as much. Don't even! Oh, you just had to, didn't you? Okay. Uh, right, let's get the appropriate loadout on the go. Oh, have I got the appropriate loadout? Hold on, what am I looking for? Uh, no, not the appropriate loadout. Go for that instead. There we go, that's better. Bit of contagion. Overheat. Dash out of the way of that grenade. No, no, no! Yes, yes, yes! Yeah. Better believe it! Ah! Dirty dogs. Did you survive? Hello? No, you're dead, aren't you? Oh, poor Rosita. You okay? Very much not okay. That's naff. <laughs> I kind of hope to uh, be a little bit of a hero there and save the day, but oh well, it was not to be. Right, let's uh, see what we got in here. No, no, no. Right, lovely. Ooh, a thing. Let's get up these stairs. Get on over to... Wait, why have I got a star rating again? Leave me alone, Bargast. Oh, thanks for revealing your location. Okay, so I am headed over there. Uh, how do I get over there? Wait, it's up there, isn't it? Oh, crap. How am I going to do this? Um, That's not going to be much help. Oh, hold on. Is there a... Whoa! Okay. That was scary for a second. Hello, sorry. Sleep well. Can I just work my way around the edge here? Oh, I'm below where I need to be, though. Ooh. Yeah. Aha, here we go. Right, this is the perimeter wall that I was talking about. Oh, look at that. It looks like it's crumbled in some places. What's... Is that a... Hold on. Oh, no. Is that a graveyard? Oh, I'm going to have to go and have a little poke around there in a moment. So these are, if I've understood things correctly, these are potentially nomads around the edge here. I'm sure somewhere, it might have been behind the Biotechnica building, sort of further along that way. I'm sure somewhere I did actually see a couple of tents down by that perimeter wall. So... I guess that would, uh, I guess that would kind of make sense. Okay, this is the spot, I think. No sign of life. So what have we actually got here? Archive conversation between Keith Gessner and Laura Hassel. Found something. Told you, part of the plane? Sure, fucking looks like it. Part of the motherfucking plane. At the motherfucking then US Prez. Better get out of here. Huh? There are going to be other vultures on site soon for sure. Be better if they don't find you here. Maybe I should leave it somewhere. Hide it. Okay, hiding it on the right side of the road between a couple of those cement blocks. If you're facing that D-Town side gate to the right, you know, that ledge up there, hit it by the little bluish green crane holding the green rubble container. Ooh. What can we find? Right, so a piece of Space Force 1. Right side of the road. Between a couple of cement blocks, if you're facing the D-Town side gate to the right, you know the ledge up there hit it by the little bluish green crane holding the green rubble container. Right, that sounds like a uh, like a search. So, D-Town side gate. There's no side gates around here that I'm aware of. Must have fell off one of those sucker trucks I saw carting off the remains of SP-1. They clean that shit up like a professional. Oh, is it not there anymore? Oh. Man. Bluish green crane holding a green... Oh, hello. Well, I mean, that's a pretty sizable chunk of Space Force 1, I think. I don't think it's the one that we're looking for, though. Find information on Space Force One, Luxor Heights, Eventide Resort and Spa. My old nomad Toon found something. He wouldn't say what, though. Probably don't know, but they seemed real jazzed about it. Problem is, scummiest of scums, the scavs are all over it. Can you help a brother out? Okay, so I'm guessing this one's fairly... Uh, fairly nearby? No? Okay. Um... 
Oh, I really want to... I, I at least kind of want to find... Well, Jesus. Oh, let's chance it. No! <laughs> okay, do you know what? I'm just going to stop relying on the air dash move to save my ass. I had a good look around for a bluish green crane, and uh, I also came down to inspect this thing that I spotted from the rooftop, but uh, I think it actually... Looking at it now, I think it's some sort of armoured vehicle or tank or something, as opposed to a, a piece of Space Force 1. Hmm. I don't know where that crane is. It's not that one. I went and took a look. Anyway, let's take a look at uh, Ronald's message again. So, found something. won't say what. Luxor Heights, Eventide Resort and Spa. So it's got to be around here somewhere. Apparently... Whoa. So apparently the scavs found something around here somewhere. Hello, don't want no trouble. I'd love to know exactly who these rats are, what are their uh, what their origins are. Right, so we've not explored around here. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder if it's like one of those little mobile cranes that that last... Oh, hello. That that last um, shard was talking about. Excuse me. Oh, you're not actually marked as an enemy, so I can't take you down. <laughs> That's disappointing. Ooh. Okay. There's scavengers around here somewhere. By the sounds of it. Well, maybe there were... Ronald did say that the coast should be clear by now, didn't he? So maybe there were scavengers around here and uh, they've cleared on out. Or maybe we're about to have a bit of fun. Oh, sadly, it's the former. <gasps> Wait. Is this what I think it is? I think that this is what I think it is. And if I think that it is what it is, then I think that this is Somi's escape pod. Because it shot off to the left as... Do, do, do. Hold on. Stadium is over there somewhere. We were on the rooftop. We saw Space Force 1 swoop on down. And the escape pod blasted off to the left. Is it? Life pod, it is. Space Force 1 intact. Landing was uncontrolled. <gasps> this is where so me came down. Who's this? Oh, is that a, is that a scav? Oh, boohoo. Body. Cause of death. Blood loss. Abdominal gunshot wound fired at close range. By a smart weapon. What, so me pounced out of the pod and blasted him in the gut? Nice. Ooh, juicy. Now that's some real information broker information, isn't it? Kind of like the uh, the kind hands man might pay well for. Thanks again, boss. Like I said before, he's always got a always got a mind for business. I like it. No way. Oh, it's a shame I can't prize it open and take a look at it. Ooh, hello, there's a shard there. Hidden stash. Golden Pacific. Oh, find the airdrop. Golden Pacific. The Golden Fleece. West Tower. Golden Fleece. That's the place. I've seen that a couple of times, haven't I? Golden Fleece is the place that's directly opposite the Haven Church. Vivi, Vivi. Woohoo. <laughs> These shrooms are starting to kick in, so I'll make this shit quick. You've been helping me out and shit. I feel I owe you for months while waiting at the cap Capitans for someone to show up. Why, shit, if I know. But anywho, there's an airdrop uh, that no one's grabbed. It's been up there for weeks. I'm going to keep that shit for myself. I was going to keep that shit for myself, but I never could figure out a way up there. And you deserve it if you can find a way to get it. Okay, so we are headed over in that way soon. But first of all, Humble Debut, a volume of verse. I kind of thought this might be something from So Me, but... A piece of sand in a silicon hush. I breathe freedom when none shout. We need this done yesterday. A department of one of operations no longer pending. For the first time in years, I saw a daylit sky, and it was everything. The cortisol in my blood yearned to cry out, Here I am, purchasing sales quarterly predictions, a bullish benzo boom. My only end, a blessed beginning. <gasps> How apt is this? It's got to be no accident that this is right next to where so me began her escape from the NUSA clutches. <gasps> wow. 
piece of sand, silicon hush. I breathe freedom when none shout. We need this done yesterday. A department of one of operations no longer pending. So much about the NUSA operations hung on her skills as a net runner and all the pressure that was piled upon her because of that. Now suddenly off of her shoulders. First time in years I saw the daylit sky. Oh, so cool. My only end, a blessed beginning. Oh, how beautifully poetic. Right here. <laughs> very, very cool. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, it's, uh, it, oh, I'm, I'm really, really happy that this mod has uh, landed. You, you may have picked that up. <sighs> right. Come on, air rush. One more chance before I cut you loose for good. Oh. Okay, it actually came through for me. <laughs> nice, makes a change. Anyway, if you would like to leave a like, or you could... Or you... <laughs> I don't want to know. Or you care to leave a comment, pop those down below. And uh, thank you so much to Dark Cops for carrying on the legacy of Fixer's Hidden Gems with Pacifica Typhoon Dogtown Hidden Gems. Download link is in the description. And until next time, take care of yourselves. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.